ATC, we in the building. Stand up. Today's topic is going to be about the Denver Broncos and has Sean Payton pushed his team so far that they've quit on him. In my opinion, you can't come in the gate talking crazy, rah, 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 about the old regime and how bad of a hack job Hackett did and that his regime was trash and blah, 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 blah. Well, the, the, the Walmart family, they dropped that bread. They hit that hand. They broke bread like Jesus said. They said, hey, put us together a team that's competitive, that's, that, that's, that's, that's competent, okay, and that's competitive. Sean Payton came in and said, yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. Boy, that, Nick, that dude needs some milk. That boy needs some milk. Who got some milk? Somebody got some milk? That boy needs some milk. He need help, y'all. He can't complain about the roster. He built it. That's his roster. That's his people. Okay? He put all his people in place. And they 0-3. Let them somehow don't beat the Bears. I'm telling Sam Walton and all of the Walton family, hey, man, go get your money back. Go get your money back, man. Get rid of that fella. He ain't worth it. He's stealing. He's stealing. That boy got the money and ran. He, didn't, he took off on y'all. He got the money and ran. That boy's stealing. That's what that is. That boy's stealing. He's stealing. You know, you told Russell Wilson, it's over with kissing the babies and signing autographs. All that's over. Well, what you going to do? You the coach. When you going to coach? When you going to stop making excuses and start coaching? Coaching that team up. When you going to start making excuses? You just got a 70 ball put on your head. It ain't been done since 1966. OMG, what is happening? And now you want to act like it's everybody else's fault. No, the buck stops here with you, Sean Payton. You, you, you. What are you doing? You got a, you got an unlimited source of funds, and, and you tricking it. They say you ain't tricking if you ain't. If they say they ain't tricking if you got it, I guess you got it. So you just gonna trick it. I guess that's what you do. You just gonna trick it. It don't make no sense, bro. It makes no sense at all for you for you to have all that bread, all the people that you need at your disposal. And you 0-3. You're not even competitive. They asked you to put a competent and competitive team on the field, a brand of football that they can stand behind. You got 70 dropped on your... <laughs> you got a concussion, Sean Payton. You can't blame it on Russ. How about blaming on that offensive line? But again, you didn't go out and get Russ no help to block for him. Russ out there running for his life. What say you, Sean? Mr. Payton, where you at? Sean Payton, where you at? Go get Russ some help so he can, when he run the play action, the first thing he can do is turn around, turn his back, and then look and throw the ball. Instead of the first thing he do, he turn around off the play action pass, he turn around, it's three defenders in his face. But then you want to blame it on Russ. It can't be Russ' fault all the time. It can't be all Russ. He got receivers. He need time to throw the ball. Just like the Walton's giving you time to, to screw this up, he need time to throw the ball. Give him some time. You asking the Walton's to give you time to fix the mess that Hackett did, but you hacking it up right now. So what's your point? So the next time before you start pointing fingers at somebody, understand when you point a finger, there's three pointing back at you. See that? Me pointing at y'all. There's the other three pointing back at me. Next time, when you point, understand what you're doing, man. Look at yourself. Maybe this coaching didn't pass you by, bro. Who knows? But you done lost the team. For the team to give up 70 and walk out like ain't nothing wrong? Shh. Come on, man. I wish, man. I wish I would. I wish I might. We're going to have a fight tonight. You hear me? You gave up 70 points. And you ain't fired your defensive coordinator. You ain't sitting in the nothing. You ain't. What are you gonna do, bro? Come on, man. 
This ain't that. It's not that hard. That boy needs some milk. Somebody gave him some milk. Somebody gave Sean Payton some milk. He needs some milk. He needs some help. He need help. He need help. Help. In my Cat Williams voice. Um. Um. Somebody. Um. He's in trouble. He is doing terrible. And um. He needs some milk. And uh. uh it is not doing good. Somebody cut his perm. Somebody cut his perm. They cut his perm off. And now he can't play no more. Um, something ain't right. Something ain't right. Okay? In the history of football, there's never been a more pathetic performance. All right, y'all. Let's stop playing. Let's stop playing. It might be time to tell Sean Payton, peace. It might be time to tell Sean Payton, peace. You know he lost the locker room. They just gave up 70. Who listening? You ain't got nobody's ears no more, bro. You done. That's done. You ain't got nobody's ears no more, bro. That's gone, man. Walton family. Y'all got all that bread. Y'all breaking. Y'all broke bread like Jesus said. Y'all need a refund. Y'all got y'all receipt. Get with y'all refund. Go get your refund. Go get your refund on Sean Payton, man. You hear me? Go get your refund on Sean Payton. GTC. What say you? What y'all think about Sean Payton, man? What y'all think? Y'all think y'all think the Walton family need to go with their refund back, man? Because I believe they need to go with their refund back. Holler at me. Tell me what you think, man. GTC, I'm out. Peace.